Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand what a change is. Physical changes versus chemical changes. First up, what is a change? Well, in chemistry, a change is a different form or view of an object. Either you tear a paper or burn a wood, it is a change. We know what a change is, don't we? Next, we need to have some knowledge on atoms for this. Basically, atoms are the smallest unit of matter according to chemistry and they are further made up of subatomic particles. Now, if we go more deeper into it, then we'll understand that subatomic particles themselves are not the smallest but are furthermore made up of elementary particles such as quarks. So now, we are in a position to understand physical changes and chemical changes and the difference between the two. So in chemistry, to be more precise, atomic chemistry, there exists bonds like covalent bonds, ionic bonds, etc. But what are bonds? Well, bonds are formed when there is an exchange or share of electrons. And why does this happen? Simply to gain stability. Everything in the nature wants to be stable. And when an atom shares or gains or loses electrons, then it is called a chemical change. So remember, whenever there is any electron sharing between the atoms of the object, the change is termed to as a chemical change. And what is a physical change? Well, it is the vice versa. If there is no such bonding or electron sharing, then the particular change is termed to as a physical change. In simple words, whenever a new substance is formed, we call it a chemical change. And if there is no new substance formed, then it is a physical change. But the condition is that these new substances should be altered by the atomic activities like electron bondings. So now you know what are chemical and physical changes. I have told you. But does this definition help in real life? Kind of no, because how will you tell this atoms have done electron sharing as you cannot see atoms with your naked eye? That's like impossible. So here we do science in one sense to know whether the atoms of the changing object are sharing their electrons or not. Let us take some real life examples. Like burning a wood. A new substance is born at the surface level as well as at the atomic level ash. So it is a chemical change of course. Second, tearing paper. It doesn't show any new substance forming. You tear a paper, it remains paper, it doesn't get converted into milk or something. So clearly, tearing a paper does not show any new substance either at the atomic or the surface level. So therefore, it is a physical change. And now let's take one last example. Take water, add fat and protein globules to it. Magically, it becomes milk. So is it a chemical change? Surprisingly, no. But how and why? See, it does show a change at the surface level. But as I told you, if there is a change at the atomic level of the sharing of electrons, then that particular change is known as a chemical change. A new substance, milk, do forms here, but there is no electron sharing or bonding. It's kind of not exactly a new substance. So that's why this change is also a physical change. So that's it. I hope this video was informative.